just extraordinary. Well, the first thing I look at it when I land in any country, and I can tell you immediately what their GDP per capita is, I look at the roads, <laughs> and I look at the cranes. <laughs> in Israel, you can see a lot of that. But of course, the high tech and the other things that are happening here are mesmerizing. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but the two most robust centers of innovation in the world today are Miami. No offense to Silicon Valley, it's great, but it's Miami and it's Tel Aviv. Uh, but you know that innovation doesn't do it by itself. That is science, technology, education do not produce wealth by themselves. Because if that were the case, then the Soviet Union would have been, you know, the most uh, wealthy country in the world because they had fantastic uh, scientists, mathematicians, physicists, metallurgists. Didn't help, okay? Uh, to do that, you, ne- you have to have free markets. Technology without free markets doesn't take you anywhere. It just makes people migrate to countries that, with free markets. Free markets and technology can explode, which is what you're seeing here. 